All right, we're back. We got another video. Part five of this build series here. Still use the drill batteries, but I am experimenting with rolling my own battery. This is uh, one that is not pretty to look at, but it was my first test. I'll get to this in a second, but basically it's 72 volts. It's uh, 20 in series. These are 18650s and four in parallel. So the parallel ones get you your capacity. And then, so it's, it's 10 down here, 10 down here. I folded the two stacks over and then that gets me 20. And then this uh, BMS is only connected for charging. All right. So back to the drill batteries. I'm gonna clarify how I'm hooking these up. This battery here is marked. You can't see it in the video, but it is marked negative. This one's marked positive. This one is negative and this one's positive. So to hook these guys up in series, I'm using these. You can get these at any hardware store. This particular one is just two, two of the same thing. Now you need to be careful with this because 72 volts uh, is dangerous as hell. So don't pop yourself, don't touch both of them at the same time or anything once you connect these. All right, so these are each 36 volts. So that's positive on there, going to negative right here. And these just clip right in, just slide right in. Just like that, just like that, tighten it up. It's not a great connection in this video but that's because i don't have the batteries mounted because i'm going to throw my other custom built one back in so i don't have these strapped down like i normally would and then what i made is this is a um, rc car connection i think this is uh the big one this is a 990 xt90 and this particular one doesn't do the spark because it's got this uh logo on here but this is negative and this is positive so what you want to do, and I also marked it down here so I don't screw this up. Positive and negative. That's negative. This is positive. So on here, indicated is negative, and that's what we're going with. i do this one-handed. Actually, no, I'm going to set this down. It just plugs in the same way. Let me set this down real quick. Okay, so I got it connected up. So if you were to take a battery tester... You get 72, or actually 80 volts, depending on the charge of the battery. And then plug it into this guy, the other, the other end of this 18 or this uh, XT90, and you got your 80 volts. So that's your series connection. 36 volts on this battery, 36 volts on this battery. Connect them get together in series. Positive on this side to negative on this side. Positive on this side and negative on this side equals the connection. And this one here is just for my voltmeter that I added at the top. It's kind of cool. Uh, I screwed up the seat a little bit. I used a Dremel tool and I just cut this and did a crappy job. Uh, but what that showed me was I actually screwed up when I made this battery. And this is a test. And that's why it's not pretty and all covered up and done right. Um, and it's got sand on it where I went down to the beach and spun up some sand and got in it. Um, so it needs to be properly sealed. But anyways, these are Panasonic cells that I took from a medical device that I got from Battery Hookup. Got to make, met these uh, medical devices and I harvested the cells out of them. They're used, it was super cheap though because I didn't know what I was doing and I didn't want to go invest in money in the new cells and these Panasonic cells are good for like laptops and medical devices and that kind of stuff because they have high capacity. But what they don't have is high output rate. So they call it C rate. These, these cells have a crappy C rate. So what was actually happening when I threw my voltmeter on, I'm, look, I'm watching the voltmeter while I'm riding and the voltage was sagging from 78 volts down to like 60. And so that's telling me that these batteries are not able to put out the amount of amperage that the controller is asking for. So while I have four of them in parallel, that's given me the ability to handle a little bit more uh, amperage than if I had, had a single one in parallel because they're sharing the load amongst all four. 
um, I actually need to get different cells. So I ordered some new cells and I'm doing it a little bit differently. This is 80 cells make this up. So it's four, four in parallel, 10 in, or 20 in series, makes a 72 volt battery. And what I'm gonna do now is I bought 120 cells, but I bought them brand new and these are high amperage. So I'm gonna redo this battery up, obviously make it look prettier, uh, but it'll be six in parallel instead of four. And then it'll be 20 in series. So that'll give me a little bit more capacity. And they're also the 21 650s, so they're a little bit bigger. Um, so they'll actually have a good amount of capacity. But I don't really care much about the capacity. I want the amperage. And that's where these drill batteries are good because they have high amperage. They don't have very much capacity because in here, you're getting two in parallel. So imagine this pack, same setup with the drill batteries are actually just two in parallel, but 20 in series. That's what you get here when, when you hook this up, only two in parallel. So the two are your actually capacity. The rest of them are making your voltage. So what I did here was this BMS doesn't do anything when it's hooked up to the bike and the bike is taking its power. These power wires are connected directly to the positive and negative on the battery, not, connect, not going through the BMS at all. So, because the BMS doesn't need to manage power going out, it needs to manage power going in and making sure all the batteries are charged uh, the same amount and they're floating at the same level and all that stuff. So that happens when you're charging. So the BMS only involved when it's charging. And of course the plane's flying over. So I'm not sucking up, the BMS is not involved at all when power is going out. Uh, because this has an amperage limit of, I don't know, 60 amps or whatever, and that chart, that uh, controller can pull more than that. So it doesn't need to be involved in that. It doesn't need to balance the cells when power is going out. It needs to balance them when it's going in and when it's, when it's, uh, when it's storage and storage so the cells can all talk to each other, make sure they're the same voltage. So that's what we got going on here. And that's it, that's the update. Still working good. I got the fins on the motor and they're actually collecting sand from my, my beach adventures. But uh, yeah, it's good. This little voltage meter is working fine. I think it's like five bucks on Amazon. And I got this little strap that actually straps down my uh, custom battery when I'm riding. Cause I haven't been riding with the drill batteries lately, but uh, that's the update. I'll do another update when I do the bigger battery that uh, I'm waiting for the cells to come in. See ya.